Hi, my name is Randy Fay. I want to show you a new feature in DDEV 1.8. Uh, we can now much more easily change the web container to have different packages in it or anything else that we want to do. So I'm going to give you the easy way first, and then I'll show you the, the no limits way. So I'm just going to edit the config.yaml and I'm going to look for the web image um, example down in the examples below, web image, extra packages. And I can just add PHP YAML, for example, which a lot of people like to have in there. And uh, so I'm just going to save that. And here we go. You see it does a build process here, but this is a one-time build. That's the amazing thing about it. This might take a minute or so, but in previous versions of DDEV, if you wanted to do this, you did it in a post start hook and you had to suffer it every time you did a start. Now it's just the one time. And I'll probably edit out a little bit of this time because it takes about a minute for me. Yeah, I didn't edit it out. It didn't take that long. It wasn't that bad. So here we are. We've got it up. Just SSH in and do a PHP I and see the YAML in there. Now, when I do a, P a DDEV restart, you watch the build this time. Uh, because it's already done, the container is still sitting there waiting and watch how long the build of web takes this time. No, no time at all. Didn't find anything new to do. There it goes. It's ready. It's cached and ready to go. Now I'm going to show you the more advanced technique. You can do anything you want to with a Docker file. Probably best to keep it simpler, but all we have to do is copy the dockerfile.example to dockerfile and web build. And we'll just remove a couple of things. It builds from the base image by default, which is what we really want most of the time. We'll take out the things that take a long time here, and we'll just leave the changing of the time zone, which used to be a little more complicated. So we will just add that run in there, and we'll do a ddev start. And this is a very fast build. It doesn't have to do an app get upgrade or anything like that. Notice that it, it's notified us that it's ignoring that web image extra packages that we put in before because the Docker file overrides everything. You're, you're doing what you want to do. You could have put the extra packages in there. Now we can go in and we'll see that the date is set to CEST. So that's it. Thank you.